Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So, in this one, we are going to talk about ticket symbol PSFE Pay Safe. Um, this is one of these online pay payment system that we cover here on the channel when they went public. And I told you guys that this is a company that I, I think has a future uh, because of the direction that we're going with iGaming, online gambling, um, and e-commerce. So I, I thought this would be, uh, from a fintech standpoint, this would be an excellent play. So um, the company just uh, released their earnings and presented us with huge opportunity so we're going to talk about that in today's video but before we get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so when it comes to pay safe um, again this is one that we covered in depth so if you didn't watch that video i'm going to hook it up here so you can definitely go check it out i, I gave you guys inside of the the business I actually went through the investor presentation why i thought it had a future so um this you know past week the earnings of the company came out and the company took a massive beating and you know fully where that um when companies take a beating like this sometimes it's a great opportunity for you to get in um, most people see a company take a beating, they run away, as opposed to being a bottom feeder and buying the dips uh, on, on stuff like this. So earnings are usually uh, up and down. So if they miss one number, uh, sometimes investors overreact. And in this case, again, I, I think it, it was an overreaction. So again, we're just going to switch here, take a look at just the company itself. Again, if you want to learn more about their business model and some of the stuff that they do, go to the website. I'm going to put it in the description. You can go read about it again, or you can go watch the video that I did earlier. Uh, and I talked about what the company really does. Uh, one of the key areas that I like about their business model is this eye gaming space, which is uh, becoming more and more uh, uh, mainstream. More people are starting to like or get into the space. It used to be gaming was for like, you know, lazy kids that want to sleep in their parents' basement all day and just play games and, and, don't want to do anything. Today, gaming is becoming more of an esports where people make a living playing video games. I mean, like there was one kid that actually earned eight million dollars from playing video games. So you, you don't want to just look it like it used to be. It things have changed. It's not a massive business, and uh, PaySafe actually helps with the, the kind of payments that occur in that space. Where you let's say if you're playing a game, you want to buy maybe extra power. You want to send money to your friend. Um, so there's different things that you can do in that space. So that's what PaySafe does. Again, go read about uh, the company in the investor presentation. So um, we'll jump right here. I'm going to show you guys here. So this is what happened when the earnings came out. So prior to the earnings, the stock was sitting somewhere about seven dollars and fifty cents, and then the earnings came out, which we're going to take a look here shortly. And look at what happened. It just completely crumbled. It went from 750 down to 401. And again, I think this is an overreaction because the company, one of their one of their main source of income, actually didn't see any growth. Which, again, like for a company that's up and coming, that is developing new products and is trying to get into this space. I think there should be these up and downs. So um, as a fact, investors were not happy. They actually, the stock took a massive beating. So uh, take a look here. This is from Market Watch. Again, PaySafe, you know, collapsed just because of that because the results didn't meet what they wanted. So yeah, you can go there. You can take a look and see how they missed. But they are on their uh, presentation here. So the digital wallet, that is the one area where they actually struggled the most uh, so you can see here no investor wants to see this thing trending down you want to see it trending up not trending down so you're going from 395 uh, for the digital wallet down to 355 so it's trending the wrong way um, and investors don't like that so again on the call they talked about ways that they want to improve this and really work on improving this digital wallet so but their iGaming um, area it grew pretty well their eCash grew pretty well so is again anticipating about 18 percent in their e-cash business 18 uh, percent growth year over year so this is a positive sign so my personal take i think that people overreacted to this particular uh you know earnings even again um as an investor you look for these opportunities um you see not only did they, did they not meet expectations as far as um this particular 
a digital wallet performance, but they have a game plan to take it to the next level. They have a game plan. So they have two main factors. They talked about internal factors, which is bringing in the skill set um, that they require and the, the right personnel to lead the, the digital wallet space. And then also external factors um, like, uh, you know, rules and regulations out in Europe, which definitely impact your business. So uh, it's something that they are working on. So I'm not too scared about this. This is not stuff that may, may make me pull. As a matter of fact, these actually give me an excellent buying opportunity. Like I said, if you go from here to down here, or if you're not in the stock yet, I think this would be a great spot for you to open a position because you're really buying this thing at a discount, like massive discount. Because I think it's let's see if we can go back here, maybe about uh, that far back. If you can see, this thing went to a high of $19.50. Um, and this was back in January of 2021. Um, and so look at where we're sitting today. Ever since that high, it's been trending down, which um, actually, um, it's not a good sign. But now, for if you're looking to get in, again, guys, this would be one that you can get in, mostly for a swing opportunity. Because normally, after a massive collapse like this, you would see a squeeze to the upside. So for a string opportunity, if you can buy this and hold it, even if it gets back to $6, you are gonna be sitting pretty good. So that's my game plan. So what I did here, again, with after this, this particular earnings, what I did is um, when you drop down to that 4 I think $4.20, and, and I actually bought um, some calls there. I bought, I think, like $7 or $8 calls. I have to go double check that, but I bought those calls in anticipation for that bounce. And then also, I actually bought a thousand shares uh, just to go long on those. And so I can use those um, a, a thousand shares to do cover calls, which can generate me um, extra income while I'm holding the, the, the shares. So that's my strategy there. So again, what should you do if you have pay safe? Um, if you can afford it, I would say average down. Um, again, dollar cost average down. And if you if you got in at that seven or eight dollar price point, then find a way to average your way down. Um, if you're not in there, I would say now it's the best time for you to open the position and start looking for an opportunity um, to actually keep adding as this thing starts to squeeze back. If you're just swing trading, yeah, and then you can either go two ways. You can do the, the calls or you can actually buy the shares outright if you can afford them. So that would be um, a plan that you can actually implement. So um, what happened at PaySafe? Earnings came out, missed their earnings. Wall Street didn't like it. And so the price of the stock totally collapsed. And again, the specific area in the business that took this, this massive bidding, and I, I call it massive bidding because all the other areas in their business didn't didn't do that bad, um, but their digital wallet took like a beating and they didn't like that. So, but again, with a, a, a miss in earnings like this, present a buying opportunity for you if you are looking long term. So, definitely find a way if you haven't already. This will be one that you can swing or you can get in to ride it long term. Let me know in the comment section what you think. If you currently have the stock in your portfolio, what's your game plan? Are you averaging down or did you have a stop loss that kicked you out? Um, again, let me know what you think. If you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell too. Don't miss out on your content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, I think Mumu has the best uh, promotion right now where if you sign up and deposit any amount, $1, $2, you get five free stocks somewhere between nine and $3,500. And again, I'll put the links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.